hi children in the last video we have stopped uh, till the life cycle of the frog so in this video we will discuss about the uh, life cycle of the frog the even the life cycle of the frog also includes some steps like from adult frog uh, lays the egg adult frog and laying the egg is the second step and from inside the egg there will be a small baby they will not look just like a frog they will look totally different um, from the frogs they will be just like a small fish once they come out of the egg and even they don't have they have only the head and a long tail behind the, the their head and this is what the structure of the third step of the uh, frog that once it comes out of the egg they will be just uh, um, moving like a fish or a small snake like structure inside the water and uh, after some day for this step we call as the tadpole those um, the small babies will come out of the egg no for them we call as the tadpoles but without legs they don't have legs also they don't have uh, hands also the way only one uh, big uh, head will be there and behind that head a long tail will be there then this step is called as the tadpoles but without the leg if once the tadpoles grows till some weeks and some days it grows and gradually after some days it will get a small two legs attached to the bodies okay then uh, this step is called as the next tadpole uh, step but with legs Uh, don't confuse okay don't get confused first one is a adult uh, frog they will lay the egg from in third step is tadpoles but without legs and the fourth step is tadpoles with legs because uh, when they reach this uh, fourth step no they will uh, that uh, tadpole is going to get a uh, two small legs attached to its uh, body then uh, if after till some months till some weeks it will be keep on growing and it will reach the third fifth step that will that is it will become a uh, frog but in fifth step also it will be having A small tail structure, tail uh, like structure attached to its body, because it has not grown still to the adult frog. It is a still small frog, baby frog only. If it, uh, uh, it, 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 it will be continuing its uh, growing and its eating. It will be continuing uh, growing its body. It will be taking food continuously and it will be doing its all activities. After again some days, when it reaches the adult stage of the frog or adult frog. Uh, one after that again it starts the its own cycle again laying the eggs tadpoles without the uh, legs and tadpoles with the legs and the small frog with a small tail behind and adult frog again the laying eggs this all steps will continue this is what the uh, steps uh, have involved in the life cycle of the frog uh, if you want i just want to show you exactly how it looks uh i hope you can see see this is a adult frog eggs and tadpoles with the uh, legs and uh, tadpoles without legs and with legs and again a frog and then a adult frog see you can see here um when the tadpoles they don't have any legs but even they don't have a particular nose and all to uh, breathe but when they have uh, when they were the tadpoles they are going to breathe with the help of the gills even in this stage also and this stage also when it reaches the um, uh, frog stage it will be having very clearly all the Uh, uh, all the parts for its body, and again, when once it grows the ad into adult uh, frog, it will be having a particularly um, very cleanly and purely all parts of its own body. This is what the life cycle of the uh, frog, and then we have a life cycle of the fish, just like a. a frog even the fish is also going to lay the egg inside the water or uh, around no, sorry border to the water body that may be the well that may be the um 
पॉन्ड लेक दैट मे बी द रिवर और दैट मे बी द सी और ओशियन फिश आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू ले द यग्स विथ द फोर्स ऑफ दोज दैट वॉटर मूविंग वॉटर द फिश सेल इज गोइंग टू ब्रेक एंड द बेबी फिश विल कम आउट बट वन मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज अदर एनिमल्स दे विल ले द यग्स वेरी in a small number i mean uh, 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 how the hen is going to give, uh, lay the eggs we in a very small number how the lizard is going to lay the egg very small number crocodile very small number but fish is going to lay the eggs at a time 1000 eggs how many eggs children 1000 eggs but all 1000 eggs will um, will not give birth to the next or a new baby in uh, in among the 1000 eggs many of 100 many 100 eggs are going to be spoiled or destroyed then very few eggs are going to give birth to the new fish so that the new fish will come out of the egg egg and they will start swimming and they will get the food from the water itself okay the particularly we don't have a steps for the um, life cycle of the fish but uh, laying the egg and coming out of the uh, babies from the egg and they will start living inside the water and uh, if once they reach the adult stage or adult fish stage again the, those particular fishes are going to lay the eggs thousands together eggs and among the thousand eggs they uh, there will be a possibility of um, give birth to the new babies for only few like 50 40 inside the 100 only so only few eggs are going to be give birth to the new babies then Uh, these all laying eggs we have uh, seen or we have studied one is um, <clears throat> birds a snake lizard turtle crocodile and uh, um, uh, this fish and the hen uh, birds means all will come inside this then we know that uh, they are going to lay the eggs but if once they lay the eggs uh, automatically now within one day one hour the babies will not come out and the babies will not start their life themselves then these all animals uh, especially the birds they have to protect their eggs by the enemies or by the other disturbance of the nature then how do they protect the egg for example birds birds will protect their eggs uh, they will not be there with the eggs for a uh, whole day but they will build a nest have you seen the nest where the nest will be nest will be there in the highest point of a any tree uh, uh, the hanging nest will be there and it will not be affected by any rain or uh, any um, wind that uh, nest is going to protect the eggs from their enemies or by the rain or by the wind They, those all are going to be protected by keeping inside the nest then how do the, the birds are going to protect their eggs by building the nest and where do they build the nest very highest point of the tree then other than this in the last videos even we have learned about the life cycle of the butterfly cockroach frog hen even how these are going to protect their eggs because life for all mothers and parents will be the same isn't it even the butterfly are also going to lay the eggs under the green leaves okay under the green leaves that is downside of the green leaves so no one insect can see those eggs or no one other animals can see those eggs because they are going to lay eggs under the uh, green leaves and green leaves will be like this in other animals will come the enemies will come here sit down they will see this part they will not see this below part so those eggs will be protected and the cockroach you you have seen when the cockroach will come out in our houses when during the night time or when uh, there is no one in the house they will come out and they will be walking in our houses uh, similarly those cockroach are going to lay the eggs in a darkest part where they ha don't have any 
light at all if there is no light uh, surely any enemy will not come and find those eggs and they will not spoil its uh, cockroach egg this is how the different type of the animals they have a sense to save their eggs because automatically babies will not come out no Th these animals have to save their eggs till the babies will come out okay i hope you have uh, understood whatever we have discussed in today's video um, by um, ending today's video i want to give you one small homework i'll give you a very simple homework write about uh, the life cycle of the fish this is first question and another last question is uh, write how do the eggs are protected or eggs are saved you have to write about all birds and other animals okay just whatever we have discussed and don't write only these three things whatever we have discussed in the class add some other things or add about some other animals also how they are going to protect i hope you will do this homework in the next video we will learn about the next topic of the same lesson okay i hope you will enjoy this video and you are going to do whatever the work is given bye children